This is Kirsty. She fell in love with Tom. The married couple meet up with others to swing. We'll have busy weeks sometimes and we'll have Maybe. four or five in a, in week. a week. They hook up with their good friends, Katie and Dan. It's just a normal friendship like any other friendship. Yeah. Even though we share wives and stuff. But not all has been smooth sailing <laughs> for the group. Has there ever been any jealousy? Their lifestyle choices have broken apart Katie's relationship with her family. They thought that what we were doing was disgusting. They don't really speak to me anymore because of it. Right, should we get these clean for tonight? Go on, give us a wipe. I'm Kirsty and this is Tom, we're swingers. And we're yeah. just prepping for our friends coming over this evening to have a little play. We were about two years into the relationship when we decided to open up and explore. Yeah. It wasn't until about the fifth or sixth year that we actually delved into it and started meeting people. This one's got the remote, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. You can put that in today if you want. <laughs> this is a good one as well. Yeah, I like that one. It's quite small. It's a bit better for the back door, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> so usually we'll meet people maybe twice a month, three yeah. times a month. We'll have busy weeks sometimes and we'll have Maybe four or five in a week. In a week, but then we won't do anything for two months or so. Yeah. I think for me, I enjoy it the most because of how it brought us close together. There's a lot of couples that um, want to do it but don't know how to tell their partners. Yeah. And if you've not got that openness and trust and respect between yourselves anyway, then it just means that we're a better couple than everyone else. <laughs> Oh, that other that'll be them. Do you want to get it? Do you want yeah, me to I'll get, get it? it? So we met Katie and Dan from the retreat that we went on. We hit it off straight away, really, yeah. wasn't we? It's just like a normal friendship, but with benefits. Hi, guys. Hi. Come on in, come on in. Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. One night in bed, we were talking about different things we want to try. Fantasies and, fantasies and that sort of thing. And I said to Kate that, I'd want to see her with another guy. She was a bit shocked, but eventually it all worked out. And then I decided that I wanted to explore my bisexuality as well. So as we started to explore that, we then thought it'd be more fun to play together. Has there ever been any jealousy? When we first started opening up as a couple, I expected to feel quite jealous seeing him with another woman because that was completely new for me. And when we first started opening up our relationship, it was a no-go. Um, but the first time I saw him with a woman, I actually found it really hot. Um, and yeah, it's been great since then. We haven't had any issues. The jealousy is kind of part of it. It makes things more exciting. I think from the day we met Kirsty and Tom, we automatically had that connection and that's just grown from there. And that ended up progressing to me asking Kirsty to be my maid of honour for my wedding. How have you guys been? Good. Did you get your wedding photos back yet? Yes, actually we got them back this weekend. So we can go through those ones. Thank you. That's nice, in front of the water. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. a really lovely photos that we got there. What happened on your wedding night? Who did you sleep with? We ended up taking one of my girlfriends up to our bedroom. We had some drinks and ended up having a with her and it was really fun. It was really good. <laughs> She's one of my best friends so it was very comfortable. And to do it on such a special day is it just makes it so memorable. So how have your family been since then then? Because obviously they were a bit iffy before and didn't they? I haven't heard anything. No? Them. No. Still didn't show up Still anyway. didn't show up, still didn't get a message or anything. I think a lot of the judgement I've received has mainly come from my family. They disapproved of what I was doing and they don't really speak to me anymore because of it. When I first told my family about us and our lifestyle, they were very upset and thought that what we were doing was disgusting. They actually blamed Dan and told, and told me that they thought he was my <laughs> and he was convincing me to do it. Um, which was really difficult, but they just couldn't accept us for who we are. I struggled for a long time with the fact that my family didn't come to my wedding. But then like, I look around the room and I look at the photos and I see how happy everyone was everyone for me. Everyone is for you, yeah. And everyone loves us for who we are. So what kind of negativity have you received, like online and stuff about it all? There's a few comments and it's just, oh, that's disgusting and 
how can you share your partner and I think part of that is why we want to educate other people on the lifestyle. Lots of sick emojis. Fake. I want Lo to vomit on their faces. <laughs> that's very specifically. specific. <laughs> yeah, that's his kink. Well, don't kink shame. Exactly. That's true. Yeah. Fair play. Dan wants the D. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our negativity aimed at me as well, you know, like I'm pushing you into this or I'm clearly in the closet. Tom's are all because he's yeah. bi and yeah. it's like men can't be bi, they're either straight or gay. <laughs> yeah. like. World's gone mad. Mm -hmm. See, that's it. It's people can't accept that the world is changing. I think people think we're like sullying the sanctity of marriage. Yes, and that we hasn't can changed. play and we can have fun, but we're still committed to each other. If you enjoy a bar of chocolate, are you just going to have <laughs> one bar of chocolate mm -hmm. for life and that is it? No, I'm committed to that bar of chocolate. You'll always go back to your favourite bar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like them creations that they brought out at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you've got. Okay. Ooh, nice this one. I like purple on you. And then we have this little nice for you see. Yes. I think Tom might like this one. Dan will like that one. I think so, yeah. We're looking forward to tonight. Always, yeah, absolutely. We've seen what Kirsty's gonna be wearing. Oh yeah, any good? Yeah, it looks very good. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Swinging for me has been a very eye-opening in the fact that people actually like plus-size people. Mm -hmm. Body confidence was a huge issue for me at the beginning. And the amount of people that actually like me, <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but yeah, it's really nice. It's the same for me, really. Like, I always had body confidence issues. I never liked my stomach. Yeah. And now I'm confident in what I'm wearing. Yeah. I love sharing my husband. It's more like a little proud moment for me. Like, yes, that's mine. Have a taste, but you can't have it. <laughs> for me, obviously, because Tom's bisexual, it's something that I can't give him. Mm -hmm. So I like the fact that it gets an all round. It's just a normal friendship, like any other friendship. Yeah. yeah. Even though we share wives and stuff. Happy? Yeah, let's we go. go see what the boys are up to. Let's have a drink of drinks. Cocktails. Let's take them drinks. Social lubricant and all. Hey, yo. There you go. I think the lifestyle works for us because we just have a boring, normal life. That adds a bit of extra, doesn't it? It just adds variety. Like, you don't want to stick to the same thing for the rest of your life, you know? After we've had sex with other people, then the sex that we have together is even better. Even better. <laughs> even better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like makeup sex, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without the arguing. Are we swapping? Are we all in a couple? I think we'll all just go with the flow. Gals, mm -hmm. couples, get everyone involved at once. And mix and match. So, um, should we take this to the bedroom then? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pleasure. I would say don't knock it till you try it. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody, but it works for us. 